Well, Grater's ice cream lovers rejoice. The chain is experiencing a shortage of its most popular flavor. You shouldn't rejoice. No, you then. shouldn't rejoice. I you don't should be think really mad. We want to rejoice. No, we don't yeah. want to rejoice. Okay, let's talk more about it. It <laughs> well, kicks off the buzz well, today. Let's see what the flavor is first well, before we talk. That is going to help you, us figure this if out. If you love Grater's ice cream, rejoice because it's, Grater's is really good. Yeah. But then right. go and protest because you're yeah. really upset because. Let's just tell people why. To, yeah. There you go. According <laughs> to Grater's, the chain could soon run out of its black raspberry chip. That's according to a company spokesperson. Mm. Store officials say the business that turns the Oregon black raspberries into ice cream has suddenly gone out of business. Officials hope to have a new vendor in place soon and resume production within a few weeks. Sadly, customers will feel the pinch. Steps have been taken, though, to ensure grocery suppliers will still have pints Black Raspberry Chip is the company's all-time bestseller. So that's an really? endorsement right there. Mm -hmm. It looks yummy. It is good. I, I, I like great. I've had it. I haven't had that flavor in a long time. I like Grater's ice yeah, cream. Yeah, Grater's ice it cream is, is good. It's delicious. Yeah. It is. It is. What, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? I, I, mean, I, I don't know I don't much know. about their Anything. flavors. <laughs> I've only been once, and it was a long yeah. time ago. But I, that I got to say, that one does sound really good. So right. I can see why good. the the protesting would need to occur. Right. Because if you really want that flavor, let's get the blackberries down. Start making the Can I make an admission? Rainia was given a Grader's uh, gift card, mm -hmm. and then they went out of not out of business, but they closed down their location yeah, they were here gone in town for a few years, and they came back. And yeah. so I was like, oh, okay, and I threw it away. <gasps> and then when they came back, I was like, oh, could have used it. Mm. Could have used it. You just so there you know. go. There you go. There <laughs> well, you go. Well, the Louisville Zoo has released the final three names in the elephant calf naming contest. So Mickey the calf gave birth to a male calf back in August. Since then, fans have submitted more than 15,000 names for the little guy as part of a contest. Zoo officials have narrowed the names down to three. Here they are, Fitz, Rocket, and Walt. You can vote for your favorite until October 20th by visiting the zoo or making a donation online. The winning name and the person who submitted it will be announced the week of the 21st. Don't they stay pregnant like for oh, years? Was, yes, like I think it's 22 years? months, oh. I want to say. It's a couple years. Yeah. yeah. That is long that time. Terrible. But I mean, think I mean, it is. <laughs> a big a, a calf. Yeah, of you got to let that is. cook in there a little. Little, little, little buddy's got to grow. Come on, Fitz. Oh, I think they're Rocket cute. are both great names. Rocket's yeah. funny because it's just kind of ironic. Like, yeah. You know, it's no, a what? young elephant, not yeah. an old dude. We need to make. Don't call Walt, it Walt. Fitz. Call it. Call it. I like rock. I like rock. You like rock, even Rocket's though it's like going to be the slowest thing in the world. That's why. That's why. I think Walt is just kind of. Warm and humbling. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, they're <laughs> cute. I think they're all cute. <laughs> they are. Oh, we'll see what they pick. All right. And two California men are thanking their lucky kayaks. We're taking the brunt of a great white shark bite. Take a look. Danny McDaniel and John Chambers were kayaking near Catalina Island when McDaniel felt a strong push. That's when he turned around and saw the shark snoot on the boat. What? Yeah. The animal then chomped right down on the kayak. The men say the entire encounter lasted four seconds. Sounds like it lasted a lot longer than that. The shark then lost interest and swam away. Experts say based on the size of the teeth the shark left behind, it was at least 19 feet long. Mm. Oh. Wow. My goodness. Yeah. Not a lot of protection on just a kayak like that either. No. So I feel like they're probably pretty lucky. Yep. Not a Swedish fish. No, definitely not. In fact, that's like the one time in my life that I would take a Swedish fish over Don't anything be else. Don't not my Swedish fish. I'm just if saying. you missed the show yesterday, there was a discussion about a little Halloween bit of heat, candy. A little bit of heat between Dee and I about that's Swedish where the fish. Swedish fish comes if from. If Rainy and her friends were in here, I would give you a baggie yeah, of Swedish fish because they have some in their jack o' lantern. I'm good. They're good. Don't worry. Don't 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 put the effort for me. They're good. And that's the buzz. Stick around. More traffic and weather when we come back.